Lisa Roschke is excited for her daughter, Hallie, to go to college. The three schools that uh, she's between are um, VCU, uh, James Madison, and University of Cincinnati. But she doesn't know where she'll be heading next year because, like every other high school senior, she's waiting to find out how much financial aid she'll receive. It's linked to FAFSA delays. As of early March, data shows 29% of high school seniors in the state submitted an application. A lot of people really need to know the financials before they make a choice. And the majority of students here, 83%, receive some sort of assistance from the government to attend college, federal education data shows. On average, students attending schools in North Carolina receive about $12,500 in financial aid. The number one barrier for students to attend college is cost. And so we want to make sure every student applies at least once using the FAFSA because it unlocks access to financial aid at the federal, the state, and the college level. The government gave the FAFSA system a much-needed update, and that resulted in glitches. It means the application didn't open until later, too, January, when it usually goes live in October. So while many students usually have their aid packages by now, they'll likely not know how much funding they'll receive until April. It's like, this is the moment you've been waiting for. And to keep saying, just hold on, just hold on, to me is awful. But I know many people do because the school you choose will be based on how much money is being offered to you. Students usually need to lock in their enrollment decisions by May 1st, but due to the delays, some schools have pushed that back to June. For WRL News, I'm Allie Ingersoll.